introduce you to our next $300 giveaway. But of course, we can't make another giveaway without some fresh new merch. This season, we introduce you to the last KDM Mafia collection. A limited KDM Mafia hoodie, as well as a limited supply of jet tags, getting you five times the entry. We also included a new flag style banner, and we can't forget the high quality decals. Each item has its amount of entries listed in its description. Make sure you get your entries to win $300. You miss all the chances you don't take. Support the channel and keep the KDM community alive. Good luck. Hey fam, welcome to today's video. It's Frankie. And as you saw in today's title, um, we are changing the transmission fluid on a 2015 Kia Optima SXL, but this applies to any motor from a 2011 to 2015. Um, SX engine so that'll be a 2.0 liter turbo engine and we are also going to be installing Apple CarPlay onto any vehicle that has this particular um, display you're gonna be able to install you can apply this to your vehicle and you could get it installed yourself for free and if you guys are just tuning in for the Apple CarPlay installation or the transmission fluid change I will be having timestamps right here as well as in the description down below and also the link to the Apple CarPlay installation is linked down below. Love how handy this remote start is. But before we start, we have to go get the right oil. for today valvoline atf full synthetic max life before we get to doing the transmission oil change i have to let the car cool down i don't want to work with the motor being hot and risking myself getting burnt so we're going to install apple carplay first so i'm going to explain real quick how you guys get apple carplay your display probably looks like this and this only applies to the vehicles with this type of display so your kia sereno forte optima or any vehicle that has this display um, your car is able to have Apple CarPlay I don't know the exact years or makes and models but I do know that all vehicles that have this exact display and your car doesn't currently already have the Apple CarPlay you could install it yourself so what you're gonna do is remove the SD card that's in the middle of your center console you just press it and it comes out your SD card should look something like this so once you get your SD card, you're gonna go get your laptop or you're gonna go to your computer. Hey fam, I just wanna say a quick thank you to everyone who has ordered and supported the channel and helped keep this channel alive. But I have all your orders here and I'm gonna ship them out today. Remember guys, purchase anything from the website and you will get your chance to win $300. I'm gonna have the link down below if you guys wanna enter. Once you remove the SD card, which I have right here, you wanna completely turn off your vehicle. You wanna make sure your vehicle's battery is at the highest so i would suggest doing this after you drove for a while not after just letting your car sit with the battery on because when you're updating it you don't want it to shut down in the middle of the process because it could freeze the sd or corrupt the sd card so you're no longer going to need your original sd card you're going to need to go and buy yourself one of these right here it has to make you have to make sure it has a fat 32 file with the speed class 10 um, if you go to update.kia.com, update guide, they explain to you that right there. You're going to need a new SD card. So this old one will no longer work. I bought myself this one here if you guys want to take a screenshot. It was only, I think, 20 bucks. I'm not sure. So once you are on the website, update.kia.com, I'll make sure to link in the description. You want to click the downloader for your make so I have a Windows so I'll click download for Windows if you have an Apple obviously it would be for Mac so you're gonna click download wait for it to download and in the meantime what you want to do is go to update guide and on the update guide it literally lists everything that you need to know in order to update yourself so if you guys don't really understand or I don't um, inform you guys correctly, you guys could just go off of this as well. Click open, you're gonna allow changes to your computer. So now 
it's downloading the file. Um, I live in the US, so it'd be United States. Next, I'm gonna do it for a Kia. If your car is a Hyundai, you have to choose your make. So I'm doing a Kia, there's Hyundai and there's Genesis. So I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna do it in English. I accept. And um, yeah, just click next until you get to the final app. So now it's gonna make changes to my computer. Here it is. You're gonna need to create an account um, I don't suggest doing guest login just in case you ever have to go back. Um, I suggest you making an account. So once you have your account made, you're going to log in. Once you log in, you're going to be prompted with this. Update files must be downloaded and saved to your hard disk first and then must be copied to a portable storage device. Save the files in this hard disk storage locations. You're going to click OK. You need to know your VIN number. That's something. So you'd have to go outside, take a picture of your VIN. You gotta find the exact make and model of your car. So mine's gonna be a 2015 Kia Optima. These are the other, you could do Condensa, Carnival Forte, K5, K900, all those vehicles, mine's just a 2015 Optima. You're gonna click download and update data and selected files. So here you're gonna see it says, it is recommended to use an official SD card when updating. The reason they say that is so that you go to the Kia dealership and you buy the Kia SD cards that are like about a hundred bucks. I think it was a hundred or 200 bucks when you could just spend about 10 to 20 bucks and just get an average SD card that obviously has a FAT32 file system and a speed class of 10 or greater, which is this here. I got this at Best Buy. You could get it on Amazon for about 20 bucks. So just get yourself one of these and save yourself money. So once you have your SD card, you're going to get this prompt. You're going to connect your SD card. So what you can do from here is transfer it to your hard disk and then from there transfer it to your SD card. But I would rather suggest you just directly transferring it to your E drive, which is your new SD card. If you try to use your old SD card, this is what will occur. If you use your old SD card, you'll get a portable device cannot be formatted using FAT32 because the capacity is 32 gigabytes or more. In that case, you're going to use the new empty one. You have to make sure there's nothing there. So here's 32. You connect it in and you click OK and it'll download everything you need onto the SD card and it'll be ready and set to go for you to connect it to your car. And the reason I learned this is because of K5 underscore Wolf. So go check him out and give him a follow on Instagram. Because of him, he helped me out and educated me on how to install Apple CarPlay. So here I have standard class Gen 4 navigation downloading. Um, I just have it started downloading it. So it's at zero. It says about 30 minutes, but actually it would probably take about an hour to completely download it. Once it's finished installing, it's going to prompt you instructions depending on your make and model. Mine has Gen Generation 4 navigation. Here it's prompting me and instructing me how I'm going to install it. It all just depends on what vehicle you have and what generation navigation you have. So for me, it's gonna be Gen 4 for a Kia 2015, but this applies for all cars. For example, your Condensa, Forte, Stinger, Genesis, whatever it could be. Instructions on how to install it on your vehicle. We're gonna insert the SD card, turn the vehicle to accessory mode. So from here, we're going to click confirm once it's ready. And if this didn't happen for you, what you're going to want to do is go to setup. Then from setup, you're going to go to general and you're going to click update. And then you'll click yes. And here we have it updating. And like I said, guys, this is gonna take a, quite a while. I'll get back to you once it's done updating. Once it's done updating and it's finished and complete, you're gonna get this prompt or this screen here. And the way you check to see if you have Apple CarPlay is by connecting on the USB where it says iPod down here. You're gonna make sure you have a iPhone cable and you're gonna connect it to your iPhone. So here we have it connected and it's gonna say reading USB. 
you're gonna get this prompt here you're gonna press ok and now you're going to have Apple CarPlay right down here click that and here we go you're gonna have all of your apps right here YouTube music Google Maps whatever here's Google Maps you're gonna have all that here and that's how you get Apple CarPlay that easy all the materials you'll need are right here I do suggest using a breaker bar just in case the bolt is really hard to take off a size 24 an extension about this long I think this is about 12 inches we're gonna have a needle nose plier and we're gonna use this one just in case this one doesn't work out um, we're gonna need a bottleneck one of these ones here um, one with the tubing so you could use this I got this for $2.99 at AutoZone or you could use this one as well any of these you can use but you will need one of these with a the long nose um, as well as your obviously transmission fluid we're going to be using the Valvoline Max Life and to make sure you could use this for your Kia Optima SX you're going to need to check the back and you're going to need to make sure it says Kia SP4 and that's how you know if this is applicable to your vehicle and obviously an oil catch and to change the oil on the SX 2.0 turbos it's very easy if your car's lower you will need a jack all you have to do is put it on the driver's side and lift this side up and um, if you're not lowered you literally don't have to jack the car up it's very easy you can just put your hand under and you could see the bolt and you're just gonna need to loosen this one right here and the one underneath now let me get to showing you guys that right now so there's the nut that we're gonna be removing with the extension rod but before we get to doing that we have to remove this vacuum hose with the needle nose pliers right here traditionally you would have your airflow for your air filter going on right here but all you have to do is remove the two bolts here and you could take it right off so that you could have access to the vacuum hose down here as well as the bolt that you will have to be removing now i suggest using a flathead to help pull off the hose the vacuum hose so all you do is just push away from the bolt and you could technically almost pull it right off and then you could use your hand afterwards now we're going to use our long extension you literally don't need a bolt it has it has it so it could sit right on and then you just easily i'm not kidding you it's so easy to turn you're going to want to take that off completely and this is going to help drain all the oil from inside of the oil pan this is what i'm talking about here's the bolt right here you could use a socket to take it off but i'd rather just suggest you use one of these right here fits right in so now we have to remove the undercarriage or the underbelly of the car so that we can have access to the bolt that's literally right here now the whole undercarriage is removed and out of the way this is the bolt that we're going to be removing after we have removed the vacuum line and this right here we're also going to be using this is your leveler this is what's going to help you um, know how much oil you need and how much you're going to need to drain when you start refilling. So let's get to pulling the oil pan underneath and removing this bolt. Remember this is a size 24 and it's very easy to take off. I'm not kidding you. It's literally very easy to take off. So be careful and make sure the car is cold when doing so. Look at all that oil. God damn, that's thick. Pause. And yes, it was definitely time to change this oil. It's literally dark as hell. So this is not a good sign. I don't know if you could tell, but there's a whole lot of metal shavings at the end of this magnetic bolt. But we're definitely going to have to clean that off before we install this back on. Let me demonstrate real quick. It literally looks like a porcupine. That's how many metal shavings there are. That is not good. It's nearly going to be time to replace this transmission. Oh man. That's not good. This is how the bolt is intended to look like. But mine has a whole lot of metal shavings. Which is not a real good situation. But let's see how long the transmission lasts. I know for sure once I install the big turbo kit. This transmission is going to go. But let's use it until it breaks basically. 
Now we're gonna put this bolt back because pretty much it's dripping about a second a drop. So that means it's almost empty. There's obviously still gonna be a lot of oil sitting on that side, but um, normally what you're gonna wanna do is get 10 quarts of oil to flush the old oil out to dilute it the most you can possible. But what's ideal is just getting five quarts of oil filling it up and then using this drain port or this leveler you open that up and it's going to tell you how much you need to remove well basically it's going to drip out from here to let you know if it's overfilled and once it starts dripping the same way like it is over here one drop a second then you're pretty much ready and your transmission's ready to go so once we finish put refilling the oil we're going to open up this leveler with another extension uh, this time it's going to be a smaller one so, so that it could fit and that's how you'll be able to level and see how much oil is inside of your pan. Another way to check to see how much oil you're going to need to put is just checking how much comes out and then just putting exactly how much came out back in. I also forgot to state make sure you guys check to see if your transmission is leaking at any spots. In my case it's not leaking so it's fine so I know that that's how much oil there is exactly in my engine. But if your car was leaking oil, you're going to need to make sure you reinsert more than what came out because that means your oil levels were very low. So here we put one gallon or 3.78 liters or four quarts inside. Now we're going to open the leveler underneath and check to see if it starts spewing out. But I do think I'm going to need um, a little bit more for this one. There we go. You don't want to completely take it off. Just open it enough for it to start dripping. And as you see, I think we actually overfilled it. What it's saying here, I am at four quarts. Before we turn on the car, we obviously have to put everything back into place. The leveler is tied up. The bolt underneath, the drain plug is tied up. We need to reinsert this plug and put back the vacuum line that's down there as well. And when putting back, and when putting back this bolt, make sure you hand tie it to the most you can possible first because it is made out of plastic and you don't want to cross thread that. One last tip I suggest is marking with the Sharpie exactly where the holes are on each side because these holes, you're going to need to make sure you put them back exactly how they go because there is a vacuum line that feeds the oil through these holes and if you have it covered or blocked, and not in the right area, you're gonna prevent oil from going in, into your transmission and circulating. So with the Sharpie, what you're gonna do is mark exactly where the circles are on each side, indicating you so that you know exactly where the line goes from the vacuum hose that's down there. So here we have the car on. Now we're gonna check underneath the car to make sure there's no leaks. Before we start driving, what we're gonna to want to do is switch in between gears. Make sure your foot is on the brake, reverse, neutral, drive, neutral, reverse, and park. This is so that we can make sure that there's oil lubricating every gear. We're gonna shift in between gears. We're on second right now. We're gonna go third. Back to second. Back to third. And I wanna get every single gear up to six gear and go back down for about 10 minutes and then we could come back and drain if we're over and if we're on and if we're under and we don't see anything leaking, we have to add some, but we wanna make sure we get to the point where the leveler just drips barely any liquid. Now it's a good thing that I drained the oil because I did remove a lot of metal metal shavings. I must drop down to first. Now that was not a full pull. I would say I was about 30% throttle, but I just wanted to get it to the most gears I can possible safely. Here I am at third gear, drop to second, 
and I'll say that it's it's a much faster response time now that made a huge difference I would say beforehand my transmission was very sluggish and I think just from doing that oil change that made a huge difference it got too dark to finish recording um, but I already checked the leveler and I actually need to add about half a quart of oil um, so I could be at the right amount so that's what I'm about to do right now but it's too dark to show you guys about the leveling but basically we're just gonna get to doing the same process we're gonna add oil all we're gonna do is remove that bolt and add oil and that's pretty much it and that's how you do a transmission oil chain another question is how much quarts or liters would you need in my case it's going to be four quarts of oil um, all vehicles are different I just suggest um, doing the doing what we're going to be doing where we use the leveler to figure out how much oil we need but in my case we need four quarts but I bought an additional one just in case this carries four quarts but I bought additional one just in case we need a little bit more that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys did like this video please hit that like button also subscribe if you haven't yet done so remember we do have the $300 giveaway so purchase anything on the site and you'll get your chance to win those $300 but that's gonna be it I'll see you guys in the next video peace